Hi, thanks so much for watching Hoarder's Heart. So we're going to go over the Christmas decorations and how much obnoxiously amount of Christmas decorations I have for a 1,400 square foot house. So it's all over the basement. So this goes outside. This, I, yeah, I don't even know. Like some random stuff. Okay. But let's take a walk. This is the only section of the basement you can actually walk in. Do you know where it is? There. And let me show you. Oh, it goes back. It goes back. It goes back. But wait, can you see? All that. <laughs> that is all Christmas decorations. And oh my gosh, it's going to take me some time to even like get back there. <laughs> But yeah, so it's dusty and dirty in this basement, and this is like a little cubby hole thing. Let me see if I can even get, oh my gosh, help. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize I had, I forgot about that pink tree, right? There's so much stuff down here that, again, I don't even realize what's in there. The good stuff, I think, is in the back, like the most important stuff, but there are things from years and years and years. So, okay. <laughs> I got to get in here, make a pathway and start pulling it out because it's, you know, the weekend after Thanksgiving and we got to get this stuff up, right? <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to have to, oh my gosh, I got to make a path. <laughs> okay. So as I'm clearing a path, I just realized this is probably like an obnoxious amount of wrapping paper, right? So I just moved this to the side. There's more. There's more. Brand new. Look, look, look. Oh, it's all brand new. Thank God it's in the wrap because uh, that floor has not been cleaned in, since we moved in. And then there's some more. Lots more. Oh, my goodness, more. So, I didn't realize how excessive this was, but I don't know. What do you think? Like 30 probably rolls of wrapping paper, Christmas wrapping paper. Do you guys have 30 um, rolls of wrapping paper, Christmas wrapping paper? I think not. I'm curious to see how much you you actually do have. But um, yeah, if you could comment down below, be like, how much rolls of wrapping paper do you actually have? So before I even go any further, before I make any more room, I'm going to make a commitment to not buy any wrapping paper this year. None. Nada. Got to use this up. No, no, no. So, all right, let's keep going. Okay, so I got a little closer. But I found this. Look at all these. It's a whole bunch of frames. I'm going to have to open it and make sure it doesn't have a date on it. But for my youngest, I'm one of the room moms, and I always do the craft. And I was going to go order a craft for that, but guess what? I found this. There is more than enough in his, you know, for everyone in the class. So sweet. Here's another way that I can save money. I don't have to go buy a craft for the class party. So and even as I was looking through this, I don't, okay, I think a lid to something disappeared. Oh, I don't even know what's in here. I don't even know how I got it. Like, this is such a mod podge of stuff. Like, oh my god, a precious moment is falling out. This is such a mod of stuff. And brand new blankets and stuff. All right. Um, again, I'm going to have to go through this and figure out what is what. Look at bags. Bags of what? I don't know. Oh, clear ornaments to make crafts with that I was supposed to make unicorn ones last year. Ah, never did it. Never got to it. Oh, random stuff. There is so much random stuff in bags. That I seriously can't even, like, I don't know. I don't know what's in there, but I'm trying to, like, zoom in on some of the stuff. Hey, look, see, look, there was some kind of organization at one point. But as you can see, it says number 18. <laughs> and then number 19. So at one point, I had some sort of organization. <laughs> but, okay, let's um, let's keep digging in here. Okay, I'm closer. <laughs> I'm closer to the good decorations now. I'm gonna start pulling stuff out 
and then I can finally like start decorating a little bit and get this started. But my God. So <laughs> my Christmas decorations, I definitely need to downsize. I mean, look, there's bins all the way down. Um, I definitely need to downsize and I feel like this is going to be like another toy room thing, like where it's like a 10 part series of how I downsize my Christmas decorations. <laughs> so yeah, it seems like toys at Christmas are my main hoarding thing. So, oy vey. Okay, let's pull these tubs out. Okay, I have the first three bins pulled up. So I got two that go in the living room. And then one that goes to the kitchen. And at one point, I think I made these signs very long time ago, like five years ago. So at one point I was sort of organized. <laughs> and I need to do that for all of the Christmas decorations because now they're just a big old mess of stuff. So I am going to start pulling things out and putting them up. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what's in some of the bins. So this was in this bin right here. And I pulled these decorations out. And a lot of these, I'm gonna keep. I mean, I like them. These two, my kids made the little poinsettia thing and the little candle thing. So those I'm keeping. Um, hopefully I can find some stuff that I can part with. Like maybe this little tree, I feel like maybe the candle tree I can part with. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and put this up. Okay, so this is what was in the spin over here. And right here, I made this um, little charger plate with chalk uh, paint. You know, how many days till Christmas so we can write in how many days. And um, let me see, I made this like two years ago, the Happy Holly Days with the mason jar. And then I had a friend make this. Didn't she do a great job? Like that looked really good. But in this bin, these are all things that I use. Uh, I don't know about this wreath. Maybe this wreath, if I don't find a spot for it, I like it. It's cute. But if I don't find a spot for the wreath, I think I'm going to go ahead and take the plunge and um, sell it. And even maybe these. Like, these are cool, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about them anymore. They're cool, but... Maybe it's time for them to go. I don't know. Again, that's going to be another thing that I'm going to think about <laughs> selling, but at least maybe I can downsize that. But yeah, so this is that bin. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, this up. Okay, so this was all the stuff that was in this bin over here. And there's some like, like clearance craft supplies, like the jingle bells, whatever those little ornament things are that I got on like deep clearance in the idea that I was gonna craft with something. I didn't have an idea of what I was gonna craft, but I wanted to use it for that. So I think I'm gonna to have to take these crafty things and just put them in one box so I see what I have. <clears throat> and then this, I kinda of wanna do something different with this. Like this is kinda of old, but instead of just having Christmas balls in it, I don't know, I wanna do something different, maybe with greenery or something. I'll have to Pinterest it. This, I think it's safe to get rid of this. And the rest, I don't know, I'll probably, we'll see. I'm just getting it all out, trying to find homes for it. And then whatever I don't have a space for, I actually, I'm, I'm gonna sell, I will, I will sell or donate. But, um, all right, let's put this stuff in there. This is that tub over there. Not the bay window though. I think I have to change that because this isn't the bay window. Maybe like two things are the bay window, but the rest aren't. So here's what's in that bin. Um, that little family mason jar thing I made a couple years ago, but I want to maybe add a little greenery to the tops of the mason jars and stuff. Um, this, oh, let me show you this. You used to see these little teddy bears right here? I will never get rid of these because they were, I had them as a little girl, like my parents had them and brought the TV. And I remember so clearly being a very little girl, like four. And like, just loving these little bears and making them talk and making them play. And I used to think, you know, this is the mommy, this is me, and that's the daddy, you know. And I will never get rid of that. I put it out every year in front of our TV as a tradition. And it's the things like that that have a lot of sentimental value. As something as simple as like ceramic <laughs> teddy Christmas teddy bears, I hold such a high value to it. But it, but I hold a high value to it because. 
it reminds you of these wonderful Christmas memories. Like I can vividly remember playing with it and what the house like looked like because of this. Like I know that sounds crazy. Maybe it's my internal like video camera memories. I don't know, but yeah. So this is that. I'm, th I'm gonna keep most of this stuff. I don't think there's anything, that little Santa Claus or that snowman thing's a little annoying, but my kids love it. But yeah, I'm gonna go put these out. Okay, so this bin had the stockings and things for the fireplace. Like here's the garland that goes on top of the fireplace. And I'll add different um, ornaments and sparkly things to brighten that up so it looks really good. And those big ornaments in the back, they actually go onto the bay window. They get hung from there. And yeah, this, everything that I showed you, all these tubs was basically the living room. Except one tub was the kitchen, but yeah, basically that's the living room. And I still have the Christmas tree that we gotta pull up. And three tubs of ornaments, yeah, three tubs. And probably maybe a tub and a half of ornaments actually go on the tree. Uh, that tree is normally full. I'll have to show you that when it's done. And there's still a ton of other tubs. There's probably at least, I don't know, 10 other bins of miscellaneous Christmas stuff down there that I'm not even sure what's in there. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap up this video. I'm gonna hang everything on the fireplace. And for the next one, I'm going to actually do the other tubs that are miscellaneous and figure out what is in there, see what I can condense, what I can toss, what I can donate, maybe what I can sell. Cause now it's kind of the time to sell Christmas decorations. Cause it's, like I said, it's the, it's Saturday. It's the Saturday after um, Thanksgiving. So now is when people are like, oh, I could use one or two extra Christmas decorations to put up. So I think I definitely need to focus on that. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Bye.